You know, for today, uh, we le- we're going to learn that one of the reasons that Christ doesn't have His full way in our lives is because we live for ourselves. We want our own things. We're following the course that's been laid out by the world and its media. We, we're following the prince of the power of the air. That's what Ephesians says. We're following the passions of our own flesh. A- and that doesn't necessarily always mean dodgy things. It just means that we're always wanting our own way. This is what I want. But let's think for a moment. What happens when we get everything that we want? What happens to our life when all the things that we desire come to us and we get all of our selfish desires, all of the things that the world wants? You know, there are people in this world that have a whole bunch of things and they are not content and they're not fulfilled in their life. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says this, that we are Christ's workmanship, that that we are created in Christ for good works, which God has prepared for us beforehand, that we should walk in them. You see, the big key to relating is this, that sometimes it's, it's really to realize that sometimes we fight because we just want our own way. We want our preferences, we want our desires. We want things that are fueled by the world and we want what the world tells us. But God's plan for us to relate well is to first realize that we are made by Christ. That the apex of God's creation is man. The best of God's creation is man. But just not normal man. Man that's been formed in the image of Christ. That's how we're going to relate well to other people. By first realizing that some of our own motives and some of our own desires are not even good for us. Can I encourage you to read Ephesians chapter 2. God bless.